Imagine a world where felines possess the power to steal souls, transform into humans, and even ride into battle like fearsome warriors. Step into the realm of cats in mythology and folklore. Let's dive in. Let's kick off with a legendary figure from Celtic folklore, the Cat Sith. This fairy cat, resembling a large black cat with a white spot on its chest, was believed to haunt the Scottish Highlands. It was said to steal souls if it passed over a corpse before burial. So watch out for those late night wake parties, folks. Across various cultures, there's a strange belief that cats possess a mysterious ability to change into humans, usually by donning a magical cloak or simply by touching a magical item. An interesting example of this phenomenon comes from Japanese folklore, where we encounter the intriguing Bakaneko. This extraordinary creature begins as an ordinary house cat, but as it ages, it acquires extraordinary magical abilities. The Bakaneko can astoundingly transform into a human woman, showcasing both its benevolent and mischievous sides. Who knew that your mischievous cat might just be practicing for its next career as a shape-shifting trickster? The ancient Egyptians believed that cats were guardians of the home and family and that they would continue to protect their loved ones in the afterlife. The mummification process for cats was similar to that of humans, and involved removing the organs, drying the body, and wrapping it in linen. Some cats were even buried with elaborate grave goods, such as jewelry and figurines. Additionally, in ancient Egypt, shaving eyebrows was a common practice during mourning, not just for cats, but also for deceased family members or friends. It symbolized grief and the departure of the living. Now that's what we call catastrophic grief. The White Cat is a charming fairy tale that has been enjoyed by generations of readers. It's a story about love, sacrifice, and the power of kindness. The story begins with three royal brothers who set out on a quest to win the hand of a beautiful princess. The two older brothers are arrogant and selfish, but the youngest brother is kind and compassionate. The youngest brother comes across a magical castle in the forest. The castle is inhabited by a beautiful white cat, who tells the prince that she is actually a princess who has been cursed. The cat tells the prince that he can break the curse by marrying her, but only if he agrees to kill her and cut off her head and tail. The prince is horrified by the cat's request, but he loves her so much that he agrees. The prince cuts off the cat's head and tail, and in that moment, she is transformed back into a beautiful princess. The prince and princess are married and live happily ever after. The story teaches us that love is more powerful than magic and that kindness is always rewarded. And remember, in the world of feline fairy tales, sometimes the cat gets the perfect ending too. Bastet, an Egyptian goddess, was initially known as Bast, possibly meaning soul of Aset, or devouring lady. Later, she became Bastet to emphasize the pronunciation of the T in her name. Bastet had a wide range of roles, goddess of cats, the sun, love, music, and more. She protected homes, aided pregnant women, and guarded cats. She was revered as the divine nurse of pharaohs and was associated with perfumes. She also had a fierce side as a war goddess, as the guardian of Lower Egypt, and firefighters saw her as their patron believing cats could draw flames away from burning buildings. Why did the ancient Egyptians trust cats in a fire? Because they believed Bastet had a perfect flame-diverting technique. Do you consider yourself a genius in all things cat-related? This is your chance to prove it. At the end of the video, we will ask our Trivia Question of the Day. The answer to this brain teaser lies within the second half of this video, so make sure to stick around and pay close attention. Are you up for the challenge? Let's find out together! In Norse mythology, the goddess Freya held a prominent place, often associated with the symbol that set her apart, a remarkable chariot. Unlike conventional chariots drawn by horses, Freya's chariot was distinctive for its two colossal feline companions. These were no ordinary cats. They resembled the common domestic variety, but were of immense size. Freya's choice of these majestic cats as her chariot pullers carried significant symbolism. Cats in Norse culture were linked to qualities often associated with femininity, growth, and the nurturing aspects of life. In a way, they were seen akin to the sun, which promotes growth and vitality. Hence, Freya's affinity for cats epitomized her unique blend of power and charm in the pantheon of Norse deities. 
she would ride into battle and events with these formidable feline allies by her side, leaving an indelible mark as the ultimate embodiment of grace and authority. The Manaki Neko, a famous Japanese figurine, is like a tiny good luck charm. It's usually a cute cat with one paw up in the air, as if saying, come here, good fortune. People in Japan believe that having one of these little cats can bring you good luck and lots of happiness. It's a neat way to invite good things into your life just by having a friendly cat statue around. So if you ever visit Japan, keep an eye out for these waving kitties. And who knows, maybe a bit of luck will come your way. Chakla, the Thai legend, is one mysterious feline. With blood red eyes and pitch black fur, it's the ultimate night owl. And it's got a hiding spot that even Houdini would envy. People say it's so skittish around humans that it'll vanish underground at the drop of a hat. Rumor has it, if you lay eyes on this elusive cat or dare to touch it, you might as well start planning your eternal vacation. No wonder sorcerers thought Chakla was the ultimate secret weapon to outdo their rivals. Talk about a killer persuasion tactic. The Hombre Gato, or Catman, is a famous figure from South America, particularly Argentina, known for having a mix of cat and human traits. Legend has it this nocturnal creature had a taste for both humans and animals, making it a spooky story told in Hispanic literature and science fiction. They even made a documentary about it in a small town called Navarro in Buenos Aires. Guess even mythical feline-human hybrids need their 15 minutes of fame. Long ago, the Vikings, who were tough sailors and adventurers, believed that cats could bring them good luck and protect them from bad things. So whenever they went on their big ships, they took cats along to keep them safe from bad spirits and storms. Talk about a perfect sailing companion! In medieval times, cats, particularly black ones, didn't have it easy in the eyes of the Christian church. They were often labeled as the devil's sidekicks, linked to witchcraft, and believed to possess dark powers. Rumors even claimed that a cat's bite could be venomous, and inhaling their breath might give you tuberculosis. These feline furballs were even blamed for the bubonic plague. It was a tough time to be a black cat, and their owners didn't fare much better. They often faced persecution. Talk about a case of mistaken identity for our feline friends. Once upon a time in a Polish tale, a mother cat wept by a river when her curious kittens tumbled in while chasing butterflies. The poor things were struggling, and that's when some helpful willow trees nearby stepped up. They stretched out their branches like brave lifeguards and saved the day. That's why you'll spot furry-looking buds at the tips of their branches. A little reminder of that heroic kitty rescue mission. As we wrap up this mesmerizing journey through cats in mythology and folklore, it's clear that these enigmatic beings have been our muses, our protectors, and our storytellers. If you've found yourself enthralled by these tales, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Cats Are The Sh and turn on the notifications. Together, let's continue unraveling the mysteries that make our feline friends truly extraordinary. And now, it's time for our trivia question of the day! Leave your answers in the comments below. Good luck!